Hello everybody, I am making tea biscuits and this is um, on the insistence of my brother Bernie who likes to think he can provide recipes for Lisa to cook but mm -hmm. guess what, it's me cooking it instead. So I'm going to read off the ingredients. It's half a cup of sugar, three cups of flour, uh, one teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder and those all get mixed together. And then you add three cups of shortening and you blend that into the powdered ingredients. And then it's uh, a one cup of something fun. He likes raisins and we're going to use cheese and rosemary in ours and one and a half cups of milk. So uh, if the oven's going to be at 450 for 20 to 25 minutes. So Lisa's going over to set the oven. I'm gonna get started, so let's go. So I've got half a cup of sugar here to put in the bowl. And I've already measured out three cups of flour. Ooh. I, all purpose? Uh, yeah, all purpose flour. And here is one teaspoon of salt going in. And then in this dish, I have ready four teaspoons of baking powder. So there we go with that. So all that gets blended together first so that the powders are all good to go. Somewhat sifted. I'm doing like Lisa now with two sets of glasses on my head. <laughs> keep, keep with the theme of the page. All right, so that should be good. And now we're going to put in three quarters of a cup of shortening. So this was just regular Crisco shortening. And I'm gonna to switch to the pastry cutter. So tea biscuits at home back in Nova Scotia, uh, that might be a snack in the middle of the afternoon, heated up with butter, spread cut in half, heated up with butter. This version is also what a typical strawberry shortcake would be, where you cut the biscuit in half, you put the butter on it, then you have your crushed strawberries that goes over top, and then whipped cream. So that's a very traditional dish for us, the many different ways of preparing strawberry shortcake. But that would be one. And then when you start to add in other flavors, like my brother, when he handed me this recipe, he loves it with raisins because he finds it makes the biscuit nice and smooth and easy and dry, not dry feeling. And a little sweet. And a little bit of sweet, yeah. And we ended up going with what we had. So we have cheese and rosemary from Lisa's Herbs that she grows here. Okay, so the shortening is cut in, and I just keep checking because this is a recipe from my brother Bernie's friend Sharon, her, his neighbor, so it's not my own recipe. One and a half cups of milk go in now, and I know I've got that in a dry measuring cup, but my good friend Lisa is getting ready for her recipe, so we're doubling up on counter space. I'm going to just put some of it in and see how it goes before I pour the rest in and see if I can get the rest of that shortening off of this blade. Cause you don't want to overwork a biscuit, right? No, it's even okay if you still see some dryness of your flour and dry ingredients. So. And this is another one of these recipes like the pie crust where Probably, depending on how liquidy it is, probably my hands might get involved. Uh, let's see how this mixes up. It is quite a wet, a wet recipe, this person's version. Glad I held back on that milk for now. Yeah, a lot more wet than the ones I make are 
you're, you know, you're able to form them in your hand and cut them with a cookie cutter. Go for a little bit of extra flowers just just to uh, I don't know help form them I guess so they won't stick to you so bad yeah um, not sure how Sharon sets hers up in a pan or whatever but there that's starting to look better already more than what uh, more of what I'm used to it being like a dough. Okay, let's see what goes on when we add the rosemary that's been chopped with the kitchen scissors and we put some cheddar in this. this that might have been all that, and then we'll see whether or not we need the milk. Oh, I can imagine how good these are gonna taste. And you're getting your workout in. Yeah. Arms. Fold that in a little bit, and we're ready to put them on the pan. This is like some of the things that you see Lisa make, I believe that you, you go with what your eyes are telling you. So we had biscuits this morning from Biscuit Bell. They are quite um, thin compared to what I'm used to, big puffy ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all different versions. Okay, Lisa, we guess we need our parchment paper and our cookie sheet. Are you gonna roll them out or do you? Well, I normally, them? normally I just do it with my hands and it's, um, they're kind of flowery. So keep that flower nearby. Let's see if I'm gonna have room. Do you have room to work? Yep. Okay. Just sit, sit it down here. It's all an experiment sometimes. Let's just see what happens if we add a little bit more flour to make them more manageable. And then you can kind of dump a little bit of that on, maybe at least as I go, add a little bit more okay. in. <clears throat> Yeah. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Very, very wet. What's more in there? Here? Yeah, just a bit. There. A bit more. Let me get your hand. Yeah. <laughs> It needs to be more like a pizza dough, don't you think? Okay, you grab that, that bowl out of the way. I don't, can't imagine what they would be like. They, she must make them in a container or something. Mm. Okay, maybe. This right here is looking good. I think no two biscuits are alike. Yeah. So, okay, let's put a little bit more flour on the top again. So you're just forming it with your hand. You I'm don't for, necessarily need I, to roll I'm one. Gonna, I'm gonna, no, I, I, don't, I never roll mine. Um, and um, I was going to flour the bottom of this and then cut them, but we'll see. Just stick it in here. Stick the glass in there. And then we'll see if it'll cut through and make... There we go. That's what I'm after. Yay! smells wonderful that you rosemary. just move with what happens that's the thing about cooking it's a scientific experiment sometimes you got to use your brain more than you do the recipe true sure. 
And our oven is ready at 450. And how long did we say? 20 um, to 25, but we'll be checking on them. And these are, I'm making these thick, so it may take that much time for them to cook through. Um, some other biscuits we looked up online were more like 12 minutes, uh, 12 to 15 minutes, but they may have been skinnier little biscuits. So that's it. We've got seven that came out of that. And they do look now like the ones that I make at home. And yeah, they're, you know, biscuits are often chunky. Um, and different shape. Different shape, they have little sticky outies. That kind of thing. So I'm happy with how they look, and we'll see what happens when they come out of the oven. All right. Look you at my hands. Can you hand them to the me? hands of baking. Into <laughs> the oven they will go. We will post a picture when they're done. So stay tuned. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Tea biscuits for Janet.